This method can help to answer key questions in the field of plant-microbe interaction. You can, for instance, identify important genes from bacterial strains that were isolated from the endosphere or rhizosphere during the interaction of the bacteria with the plant. It's a versatile method that can also be used for studies on other bacteria with plants. The main advantage of this technique is that in a relatively short period, a large number of bacteria genes that are important during plant microbe interactions can be identified. To begin this procedure, rinse the potato surface with sterile water. Bathe the potato in 70% ethanol for 5 minutes and then in 3% sodium hypochlorite for another 5 minutes. Afterward, rinse it again with sterile water to remove any remaining sodium hypochlorite. Next, prepare the materials needed for germinating and growing potato tubers. Sterilize the plastic pots, engraftment baskets, vermiculite, and water by autoclaving them at 121 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Subsequently, put the surface sterilized potato into the engraftment basket and place it in an autoclaved pot containing wet vermiculite. Use a large glass fiber box to cover the pot to avoid microbial contaminations. Keep the pot in a climate chamber at 24 degrees Celsius for three weeks and set it on cycles of 16 hours of light and 8 hours of darkness. To collect the potato